Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Versa pumps from scratch to do automatic water changes. There will be three videos. Each video is a separate way to do this. As of now, there is no additional equipment from Ecotech Marine you can use to facilitate a water change other than the Versa. That may change down the road, but for the time being, we would recommend that you put in safety mechanisms for any kind of automatic water change if you're not gonna be present while it's happening. So that may mean float switches, cut off, things of that nature. So there's three ways in Mobius that you can do water changes. What we're gonna do is set up a new tank here. We're gonna call it water change. And this is gonna include two verses. So we'll select two verses. One is gonna be water in, one is gonna be water out. And as these are adding to our profile, I'll quickly describe the three. This video is gonna be the first, and this is gonna show you how to do a automatic water change. So in this scenario, every day at the same time for the same period of time, both pumps are gonna run at the same speed and they're gonna exchange the same amount of fluid. So one is gonna be taking water from your RODI reservoir, the other one is going to be taking water from your tank and emptying it into the drain. Okay, tanks uh, set up and so are the verses. So if we go into the verses, there's our first one. We're gonna call this one water in. And this will come from our uh, RDI reservoir. So if we hit that top button where it says additive custom, we'll go down to custom. We're gonna name this water in. So this comes from our RDI and we back out here. So now we need to set the program. So if we click on those three dots under dosage schedule, we are going to create a period that starts at 8 a.m. and runs to 12 p.m. And during that time, we're gonna do a water change of 500 ml. Obviously, you could set that to whatever you wanted. We have that in there. We will put the catch up function on and now from the time period 8 to 12, so for four hours there, it's going to add 500 ml of your saltwater reservoir. So we're going to save that. So that pump is now set up. The next thing we're going to do is set the second pump. So again, we will go here to custom. We will name this water out. So this is the pump that's going to take water from your tank to the drain as the fresh water is added this is going to drain the water. Now that we have that, we are going to create the same control point for this pump now. So we're gonna go 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. We'll put catch up on and 500 ml. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna save that. And now if we go Back out here, we can see that both of these pumps are set to 500 ml daily dosage. So one is connected to your saltwater reservoir for the water in, one is connected to, from your tank to the drain to drain water. Now there's one last important step when you're setting up for a automatic water change, which is to make sure that the two pumps are running synchronously. And what that means is that they're exchanging exactly the same amount of water. So what we recommend that you do here is go in once everything is plumbed and then calibrate the pumps and calibrate them for an amount which is similar to what you're gonna do or if exactly for your water change. And then make sure that the pumps are calibrated. For that tubing setup, because there may be pressure differentials, et cetera, in your, in your system. And that may in turn result in different amounts of liquid being transferred. So once that's done, you should be pretty much good to go. What you'll want to do is just check on it periodically and make sure uh, that everything is running correctly. And again, as we said, we want to make sure that you have some backups in place, a float switch or a um, water monitor, whatever it is that you have to make sure that if this is going to be happening on an ongoing basis in the background, that you do have some checks and balances. That's true of any aquarium equipment setup. Also true of this. Right now, there's no equipment from Ecotech that will assist you with that, but that may change in the future. Okay, next video will be showing you how to
do exactly the same thing, but set it up with an external switch so that you can control a water change and do as much or as little simply by powering on or pressing a button to turn on your water change. Okay, that's that. Thank you very much and uh, see you at the next video.